you buy Dead and Kemadi University coffee, uh, you tear. Once you tear, uh, then you smell the freshly roasted ground coffee. It has a very good aroma, pleasing, and uh, it makes you, first of all, fall in love with our coffee. Uh, then, you are going to follow these instructions that are indicated uh, in the package. Uh, there are seven instructions. We are going to boil clean water uh, for the coffee that we are going to brew. We are going to take a jug, an empty jug, and then and after that, we are going to measure one level tablespoon. One level, we normally say one level because one level of a tablespoon is 10 grams of coffee. And uh, we are estimating it in a 200 ml cup. That's uh, an ordinary cup. And then, pour it in the jug. You add water to the coffee. And then, we ensure that all the grinds are submerged. We wait for three minutes uh, without stirring the coffee. So within the three minutes, we are allowing the coffee to steep. So if you have a look, you will notice that we have a layer of grinds that is on top of the coffee. So this layer of the grinds, it's a, the coffee is steeping. There's a lot of, uh, the flavors are moving now from the ground coffee to the water that we added. We are going to gently break the crust. Then after we break the crust, the grinds are sinking. And as the grinds sink, there's this layer of foam that is formed on the top. It is called crema. So crema is the one that uh, has the richness or the, it has the oils and the flavors of the coffee. So basically, uh, once we start sieving, we are not going to remove it. So we are going to sieve our coffee with the crema. So the next process we do, uh, we are going to take a sieve. We have a sieve ready. And then we have our cup. Then we sieve the coffee. You notice that as you see, there's that uh, aroma that comes from the coffee. It makes you enjoy uh, our cup. And that leads to serve. Uh, you can allow, uh, for most people, they don't prefer taking their coffee uh, as, as hot. Uh, so we normally tell people you allow it to sit for around 5 to 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, you can uh, take the cup. It's interesting. You notice that uh, our cup is very clean. In terms of it doesn't come with uh, any foreign taste due to the processing, the way it was processed. It carries with it uh, a very clean taste. It's, uh, it has a very pleasant uh, aftertaste. It makes you go for more and more. I, I feel like you can take all, all of this. You can feel, especially when it is hot, you can feel the acidity. But if you want to feel the, or to enjoy the sweetness of our coffee, allow it to cool a bit. Uh, from the 10th minute, you start enjoying the sweetness. Currently what I'm enjoying is a bit of flavors. You can feel the fruitiness uh, that comes from the cup. Also, you can enjoy a bit of the spike of the acidity because uh, you can feel the acidity uh, from the side of the tank. Uh, but as you continue enjoying it, you now realize uh, how sweet our coffee is. We normally ensure that uh, to enjoy the richness of the coffee, you don't need to add sugar to it. It's, uh, you enjoy it uh, the way it is. And you can notice that even with the yellow color uh, that you can see uh, from the cup, these are oils uh, that come with the coffee. Uh, the way it was able to get all these oils from uh, from our farm, and this makes it even more interesting. Makes the flavor uh, have a bit of body uh, in it. And the body tends to interact with the tongue, so you can feel a bit of heaviness in it. So, but you get to enjoy more body as the coffee cools. So it's an interesting one. And we would like, as you buy our coffee, you enjoy uh, the taste. It's very good when you take it in the morning. It provides a spike and alertness in the mind. And, uh, it's very good.
feel the warm already. 